Yeah, cooking video attempt. Hey guys, and that's not the title of this video. Your first question is probably, why a cooking video? I just want to. And your second question will be, what is that? Wow, the colouring is really bad. This t-shirt is something that I wear when I'm cooking and eating, so it's like a bib, sort of. It's a bib slash apron, okay? But it's a t-shirt, an old one that I don't like, that I don't care that it gets mucky, that's why I'm wearing it, okay? Anyway, enough about that. Let's get started. What I'm going to be cooking is something that I love making for myself every now and then. It's called eggs on cheese on toast. So what I'm going to show you is some of the things that I have on the side here. I will show you with the other camera, the vlog cam. So let me show you what I've got. Of course you need a spatula and your knife and fork. You need your frying pan, cheese grater, bread, eggs and cheese and a camera <laughs> and a scruffy house. Oops. An oven and your hob. By oven I mean your grill, not, not the oven itself. You might have a different type of grill. Just start it up like I'm going to. Make sure you've got the rack out first. That's up and running. Okay, can you see these things? There's the pan. <laughs> oh yeah, what else do you need? Shh. Yes, the other thing you need is some sort of well, vegetable oil type stuff for your pan to fry your eggs. Essentially, this is something I came up with back in 2007 when I was in Lanzarote. I don't know why, it just popped into my head to try it and I have enjoyed it ever since. Next up, get a plate out. Cheese, you need to grate your cheese. This should be fun. Especially, ah, there we go. Thought I couldn't get into it then. I have got mature cheddar, you can have any cheese you like but this one's my favourite. What we want to do is get dollops and dollops of grated cheese. You don't have to have grated cheese if you don't want to. Sometimes I will use cheese slices because it is easier to use, you just put it on the bread. Uh, is that enough? I don't think so. Okay, I think that should do for now. There you have nice big pile of grated cheese. Take this over here. Now it's up to you on how many slices of toast you want, but I usually have the three. And I'm greedy. Get it on your rack, ready for the grill. Another thing you need to do when you're doing the cooking and, and waiting for things is dance to no music whatsoever. Maybe I should put some music in now. No? Oh, okay. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, the grill's ready. So, put the bread on. And while we wait for that, turn on the pan on a very low heat. You don't want to start boiling, you just want it to simmer. And you don't really need that much. Why am I showing you on there when I've got this? As I was saying, you don't have to have too much in, you can just have a very thin layer that just goes across the entire pan. And like I say, low heat. While I'm waiting, I'm going to get my plate out. What, you were expecting a great big plate, weren't you? I know, I know. I want one. Oh, I think the toast is done on the one side. Yes, a oh. hole. This is how I like my toast, golden brown. Some of you might like them burnt or undercooked, but that's up to you. So what you want to do now is turn the bread over, ready for the grilling of the other side because that's what you do with toast as you're probably well aware of and while it's on this side and you're waiting for that pan just spread the cheese across the entire face of the bread and spread it out as much as you can there you go that's topped up very nicely and i got a few scraps left yummy and as you can see there's a bit of smoke coming off the pan now that means it's ready now before you put your eggs on you want to put your toast back in you want these ready before that. So in it goes. And while that's going, here's the fun part. I use a knife to do the egg. Stop it. Don't spit at me. Okay. Gently put the egg in, as you see. Get a second one on. 
Don't spit the meat. Don't spit. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, yeah. Managed it. In your face. Oh. Oop. Stay away. Stay away. Keep an eye on your toast. You don't want to over grill it. It's getting there. Oh yes, they are done. Mm. Lay them out flat on your plate. What the heck's happened to that yolk? <laughs> it's like uh, growing, I think. But they're just about ready. Make sure they're separated, you don't want them to come out of the pan together. And I'm going to say that one's done. What you want to do is just lay it right across the top of the toast, like so. And this one as well. You probably say, but Chris, you've got a third one. I've got a third egg. Beautiful. Remember when I said I don't care about this shirt? I've got egg all over my fingers. See? That's all you need to do. What I sometimes do is, when I'm eating, I'll cut into the corner of the toast and dip into the egg. But lately, I've been actually eating it as, you know, as normal toast. But you get egg everywhere, which I quite enjoy. That's it. Fried eggs on cheese on toast. And that's ready for consumption now. And I can guarantee it'll taste beautiful. And that you might end up with the trolls. And that's it. That's my fried eggs on cheese on toast tutorial cooking video. It's actually a success for once. Yay! Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do cook this yourselves, please let me know how you went on. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Uh, how did it turn out? Also, while you're here, you can check out these boxes at the side of me. These are links to other videos that I've made, you know, like on my second channel where I vlog now and then. <laughs> and if you want, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links that are down below. Also down there is a subscribe button. I don't always make cooking videos, in fact I never make cooking videos, this is the first time, it might be the last time, I don't know. But if you want to see more of what I do, there's the subscribe button right down there, just click it. It's time for me to go and enjoy this. Until the next time, peace out. Yeah.